let's get right down to it. I mean, I really love your channel. The way you have it set up, it's like a one-stop shop. Everything is right there. You're easily accessible. But do you think being accessible the way that you are is beneficial to yourself and your career? <laughs> Now what I think you're really asking, Cindy, is why I have a link to my professional portfolio on my personal YouTube channel. Yeah, right? that is exactly it. It's like your personal life. How come you think it's appropriate? You know, someone once asked me if it were possible to separate the essence of who you are from the person that you want to be. So I understand your question, but my question to you is, how can I not have a link to my professional portfolio when everything that I am doing innately ties into me. Truly, what you see is what you get. I am a writer. I am a human being. I am journeying. I am creating and evolving as I go. The fact that prospective employers have access to who I actually am is, in my opinion, tasteful. In fact, I think it's important that we make it a necessary move. I mean, think about it. It's gonna happen whether we like it or not. If I call in tomorrow, I bet you a hundred bucks that my employers are going to check my Facebook to see if I'm actually really sick. I mean, that's whether I have sick leave available or not. And the same is true for all of us. We can't escape it. The fact is, it's just where we're headed. As we thrive and continue through this smart society, we are revealing an astronomical amount of our privacy. And it's not to say that some of my videos and content in general isn't for viewer purposes only. I mean, I do act. <laughs> It's just another thing that I should be adding to my resume. What I'm really trying to say here is my social media is directly entangled with my professional portfolio and I'm okay with it because it allows prospective employers or even partners to make a realistic assessment of all of the amazingness that I as a writer, as a human being, as a person on this planet, as a person who's growing and evolving, have to offer. And I say that because behind my professional persona, my idea, right, of what it means to be a professional, at the heart of everything, I am just April. In every aspect of our existence, we are continually thriving. Now, I'm stating this for the workforce, but it doesn't necessarily have to be for our professional life generally. We are moving forward whether we like it or not. With that being said, Cindy, being who we are is never going to change. Why don't we choose to step into our own breakthrough and embrace ourselves now? Think about the future. These little strides that we are taking now will put an end to anxiety, depression, mental illness issues across the board. These health issues hold one common truth. They strangle their victims into a cage. People need to feel free, but most importantly, people need to be okay with being themselves. We as a society need to be okay with growth and not only welcome it, but dare I say demand it and welcome an open mind with one another. By doing this, we will allow ourselves to be able to give and receive appreciation at the heart of our being. I mean, do you understand how just that little bit of self-worth can completely change a person? I mean, it can make you feel like you're on top of the world. It could change everything about you, your ideas, your idea of life. It can be a catalyst for change in a positive way, not just for you, not just for me, but for all of us. Appreciation, just appreciation. Being okay with who you are, being okay with growth. I love you and I accept you. I love you and I accept you. That's it, that's it. All we have to do is love and accept each other, support. It's a give and take in my opinion. The only way to truly embrace the details and the essence of our journey. It's not where we're at, Cindy, but it's where we're headed. Did I answer that for you? I mean, you know, I wasn't trying to be, I wasn't trying to be extra. Yes, I was just, yes, you, know. you did answer my question. I mean, you did a phenomenal job. I mean, I am shocked and it's so crazy because I feel like, where have I been? Have I been under a rock or something? Because I don't, I didn't even understand, I didn't even think about that until you literally just enlightened me. Like you really just opened my mind and now I can see it clear. Like I'm gonna create my one-stop shop. I look forward to working with you. I am certain we are gonna do amazing things together.
often talk mess and being like super ghetto. <laughs> my little coffee area. My new Keurig doesn't reach, so I had to plug it in way over here. Across the kitchen, across the kitchen, don't make fun. But I'm about to move it back over to where it belongs. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. No judgments. <laughs> you never would have knew. <laughs> Do you know what today is? It's job hunt day. So my professor said that it is time that we have, that my classmates and I have built up enough experience that we can actually start looking for jobs. Woo! So you guys have to wish me luck that I actually find one. <laughs> I'm sure I will, but we have a lot of work to do and I'm happy you guys are coming along with me on this journey today. We're going to start with the content writer. Let's see where we end up. I like this one, the freelance content writer. It's $85 to $100 an hour. We merge storytelling and technology to promote health, wealth, and happiness in the world. We help marketing and technology executives and technology executives engage hearts and connect parts by offering full service capabilities including strategy, creative communications, experience engineering, performance marketing, media, digital platform development, and more. Sounds pretty good. What do their benefits look like? Oh, Sam Sam's on the keyboard again. Sam Sam's always on the keyboard. I just love Sam Sam. Look at him. He loves to hang out with his mama all the time. Hi, Sam Sam. Hi, Sam Sam. We're practicing wearing our little, our vest, our harness. I call it a vest, but... Hopefully the idea is the more he wears it around the house and he's not afraid of it and it just becomes comfortable and normal, we'll actually be able to go on walks outdoors because he's not having it. I tried to take him outside on a walk and he was like, he wouldn't do it. He laid on the kitchen floor and just moaned and groaned and he, he would not do it. But he seems pretty happy when he's indoors without the leash connected, just the harness on, just the vest. He'll play around and he'll be a happy little kitty. He'll play around and be a happy little kitty and he won't cause too much havoc or anything. So hopefully the more we do it and the more we wear the vest, we'll become better adapt to it and just used to it over time, I guess. And you guys will hopefully be seeing us going in some lovely strolls. Some lovely strolls, right, baby? She? Some lovely strolls. Lovely strolls. Lovely strolls. Look, can mommy have kisses? Can mommy have kisses? Can I have a kissy? Give me kissy. Give me kissy. Give me kissy, Sam Sam. Kissy. Kissy. He gives me kisses. He's being shy for the camera right now, but he gives me kisses. He's shy. He's shy. He gives me. Mommy have kisses. Kissy. Can I kissy? No kissy. He's so, he's so funny. He's such an adorable babe. <laughs> he's so adorable. He's so adorbs. All right. Back to the task at hand, guys. We are looking at the freelance content writer. Can you see that okay? The freelance content writer. The freelance content writer. We're looking at their benefits. What kind of benefits do they offer? It doesn't really say... The benefits that they offer looks like we need to go apply on the company website so we'll do that and see i know it says i don't know if you guys seen that but it says you need three years of experience in writing in general but um i know i just now started actual um college for creative writing it's been a little bit over a year now but i've been doing writing prior so i have a uh, writing experience so I'm going to go ahead and apply and see what happens. Wish me luck. Hopefully all will be well. Ah, that took forever. Speaking of jobs, you guys, did you guys go and check out Face Story? I hope you guys did. 
Um, the Moon Velvet Night Mask is amazing and it's just been working wonders for me. I love the way it's making my skin look and feel. So if you have not already, please go and get yours at facestory.com. I will be putting the link in the description below. So make sure you do that. It's amazing stuff, guys. I wanted to actually walk you guys through my YouTube channel and take you to my portfolio. If you go to my channel, love to smile dash April Chavez, there is a link right here and it says view portfolio and you just click it and it takes you directly to my portfolio. There is a nice little welcome message. You have access to my resume projects and you have multiple ways to contact me. My email, of course, my YouTube, my LinkedIn, my Twitter, um, about me. You have the about me. You have, of course, resume. You have my fictions. These are all flash fiction pieces. Ashley is the newest one. I actually really like this story. So I would go, I recommend checking it out. I thought it was a really good read. I enjoyed writing it and I hope you enjoyed reading it. Um, so yeah, Ashley, go check out Ashley, guys, guys and gals, go check out Ashley, okay, it's right here, this goes here, you know, it's connected, you know, you know, it's kind of far away, I might adjust that and fix it a little bit, but it's okay, it works, it works, it works. and there's all these other flash fiction pieces that I've written, we also have a business page, my business page, check that out, and my published works. So you can check out, go check out the works I've already written and published, actually. And of course, you are more than welcome to contact I me. I would love to work with you guys. I would love to show you guys how to set up your own portfolio. If you have questions, if you need help, anything, 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 I am available. And I would love to hear from you. So please utilize the fact that I am accessible because I am accessible to you all. And I am so thankful that you guys follow me. I really appreciate it. So in any way that I can give back, I will surely do my part. doing laundry so I gotta finish that up really quickly on getting this dark fuchsia. I really wanted it, but I wasn't really sure if I was going to use it because I seen this picture and I wanted to actually imitate it. Using markers to create paintings, I thought it was really cool and this is how I attempted to do it. found it quite fun. It was a little bit time consuming but not too much. Once I got the hang of it I just went. 
I was using all kinds of different colors and I was really happy with the way it came out with. It was a lot of shapes and just a lot of strokes, but I think it came out really nice and I'm really happy I actually took the time to do it. enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Why I can never go to the gym without my trusty kicks. They literally come with me all up and through this place. My workouts are always fire. I love them so much. I've had them for about, I wanna say a little over five years and they literally, they really are my go-to sneaker. Like you guys will see me in this gym with these particular shoes on like all the time. They're truly, they're good luck. Funny story, I was walking across the street. Okay, okay. I was jaywalking across the street my shoestring happened to be loose and it was sliding on the floor and there was this huge truck coming by and I freaking, I got freaked out and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get from this point of the street all the way to the other end and what am I gonna do? My shoes, I need to tie my shoe. How am I gonna do this? I might trip and fall. I just lifted and just started running. As I started running, I looked down at my shoe and I noticed my shoestrings literally swooped up and tucked themselves all on its own and ever since then, these Nikes have been known as my lucky sneaker. So I would cherish them for life.